Hello everyone, and welcome back to the tutor. Today I'm going to be talking about the ice type. It's the least common type in the Pokemon games and used by notable trainers such as Price. Ha, huh, I see what they did there. Price. There's also Candice. <laughs> That's pretty clever too. Like canned ice. There's also Bryson. Okay, did they have to be so blatant with the ice puns? At least there's no electric type gym leader named Electrixie or something like that. Anyways, all of these ice type trainers got me wondering, which ice type Pokemon is the coolest, or um, coldest rather? Which one of them has been documented at the lowest temperatures? To figure this out, I first set some criteria for what I meant by the coldest. To keep things objective, only ice types who have temperatures specifically mentioned in their Pokedex entries will be considered. We unfortunately don't have entries that mention temperatures for all ice type Pokemon, so this is just the tip of the Bergmite. However, we do have quite a few of them that we can compare. Also, the temperature mentioned in the Pokedex can be anything like body temperatures, surrounding temperatures, or attack temperatures. If a Pokemon can cool its surroundings or live in a certain climate, I think that's a fair method for determining how cold it is, even if these aren't specific body temperatures. So without further ado, let's see how the ice types stack up. The Pokemon cast to last place is Cast Form Snowy Form. The Pokedex states that its body becomes an ice-like material, with a temperature near 23 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a bit below water's freezing point 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold, but ice types get a lot colder. Vanillux is next, and its body temperature is roughly 21 degrees Fahrenheit. This is approximately 21 degrees higher than the highest optimum temperature for storing ice cream, according to the International Dairy Foods Association. So Vanillux is actually warmer than most real ice cream. What makes this even worse is that Vanillite, its pre-evolution, is even colder as the temperature of its breath is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Just below Vanillite, Alolan Vulpix exhales air colder than negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, while Frostless spits out cold air of nearly negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Glaceon is even colder as it can drop its body temperature below negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and from here, the temperatures of ice types drop considerably. Cryogonals freeze their prey at negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit, which is lower than the lowest recorded temperature at ground level in Antarctica. Also at negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit, we have Vanillish, which blasts its enemies with cold air reaching negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm guessing this is below the optimum temperature for storing ice cream. Nevertheless, I find it strange that Vanillux is the warmest, followed by Vanillite and then Vanillish. Next is Snowrunt. It bounces happily around, even in environments as cold as negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Although, Snowrunt doesn't look very happy to me in its 3D model. I also find it strange that the temperature mentioned for Snowrunt is lower than that of Frostlass, but let's look past that. Berg might chill the air around them to negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit, freezing the water in the air into ice that they use as armor. And now, we're on to the final three. In third place, we have Aurorus which has a surface temperature of around negative 240 degrees Fahrenheit. In second place, we have Frostmoth, whose wings are less than negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit in temperature. And finally, in first place, we have Regice, which I used to call Reggie Ice when I was younger, because that makes more sense, it goes along with the rest of the Reggies, but anyways. Regice cloaks itself with frigid air of negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely absurd. It makes sense that a legendary would claim the top spot though. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In the next video, we'll really be getting into the science of things and calculating how much heat would be required to melt Regice, the coldest ice type, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, 
I'll be waiting for you to come back to the tutor 